Okay, today I'm going to show you how to find the model number on a Zama carburetor. I'm going to start with older carburetors from the late 70s, early 80s. As the years have gone by, the location of the model number has changed. In the late 70s, early 80s, the model number was engraved into the carburetor. And for this particular carburetor, this 1701, C um, was engraved on the body of the carburetor. It also at those times has been engraved over the choke or throttle valve. You can see it here, H18. After those times, it was then moved, the location was moved near the fuel line connections. The, some people misinterpret these castings where there's the number like for example the c1u as being the model number or they'll see an h here and then a number and think that's the model number the model number will never be cast into the body of the carburetor the number you're looking for on older carburetors will be engraved and then for the newer carburetors it will be printed in black ink or laser etched. It will begin with a letter. And this particular carburetor, it's a K43B. That K denotes it being an echo carburetor. The K43B should let you find the G&D kit, gasket and diaphragm kit, or rebuild kit, or a replacement carburetor. On the other end, where people misinterpret the model number, you will see the casting number, which is a C1U. That is part of the model number. You'll be a C1U K43B. But the model number itself will always be etched, laser etched, or printed in black ink near the fuel line connections on most newer carburetors. On some carburetors like the C1T, the C1T is right here. And then the model number itself is right here, the W33C. Below it, date code, that's irrelevant. You don't need to know that number. You just need to know the W33C. So on rotary carburetors, the model number is a little different. It's in the upper left-hand corner right below where the throttle cable goes into the carburetor. And you usually should be able to find it in the upper left-hand corner for this particular one. It's a K85 1ZA. The 1ZA, again, is the date code irrelevant. The K85 is the only thing you need. Some people misinterpret this as being an RB27. That would be wrong. It is an RBK85, but the RB27 is not the model number. The model number, again, will never be cast into the carburetor. Zama currently is going through where they're changing part numbers to new part numbers. So to help the consumer and the uh, service technician, the new model number will be printed at the top. Then it'll be the date code. Then the old model number that it replaces will be at the very bottom. Either the bottom number or the top number you can use to find your rebuild kit or replacement carburetor. If you should get a carburetor, pull your carburetor off a unit and you can't find a model number on it, you can always email us at Zama uh, Tech Support or call Tech Support and we can figure it out for you. you we always offer a service where you can email us pictures of the carburetor while it's off the unit and we will identify the carburetor for you. So I hope this helps you in identifying your carburetor. Please like this video if you enjoyed it. And we have several videos at our YouTube channel. Thank you.